news before your morning commute or your next vacation, you're going to need to find out whether you can leave that mask at home. Officials no longer enforcing the federal transportation mask mandate. But your local government or transit organization might have its own rules. And if wearing a mask is up to you, health experts have some advice. Amy Kiley has more. Yeah! Masking up while traveling okay. is now optional most of the time. I'm excited. If you want to wear them, wear them. If not, then don't. A federal judge in Florida has struck down the Biden administration's public transportation mask mandate. While the ruling is reviewed, the TSA and a growing list of U.S. airlines and other transit organizations say they won't enforce the rule. It looks like uh, it's a done deal. I mean, it, the, the, the administration, rather than saying they were going to appeal right away and, and try to get a stay, they basically acquiesced in the decision. Amtrak says masks are now optional, but stop that train. Local governments and travel organizations can still enforce their own regulations. These transit systems are some of the first to say they will continue requiring masks. These say they will not. Regardless, the CDC still recommends choosing to wear a mask on public transportation. Just because you're not required by the government to wear a mask, that doesn't mean you shouldn't wear a mask. I'm definitely going to be masking when I go to planes, on trains, in airports. Experts recommend an N95 or similar grade of mask for the best protection. Wear a mask during the times that are the highest risk. That is boarding the plane and deplaning because that's when the ventilation system is not turned on. I'll always wear my mask. I lost my grandmother to COVID a year ago, and so I'm very particular about the masks. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.